somebody give all praises and glory and honor to the Alpha Shem, the Alpha Shab, the Alpha Shem, the Kakadash, the Shalom to the elders for Christian word, truth and sincerity, and Shalom to the Akim, who's got the four points of world, Christian word, truth and sincerity as well, too. I say Shalom to the Akim out there. And this is a uh, lesson that I'm going to bring out as we were. With, you know, as we've been seeing what's been recently taking place over there in Syria for the past couple of days, because you had that uh, drone strike over there that caused the lives of over really like uh, over 100 people after that drone strike over there in Syria. And then you've been having uh, some uh, U.S. drones uh, shot down by the uh, Turkey, if I'm not mistaken. And then you've been, <clears throat> and then you've been having the uh, escalation between the uh, Turkish armies and the uh, Kurdistan armies. Right along with the uh, pro Kurdistan armies that supports uh, Kurdistan, which is the YPG and the PKK organization going against the uh, Turkish organization. So I just want to add an additional note to that. And that goes into that Matthew 24, verse 6. Because it says, uh, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. So this is a uh, news article from awardsblog.com. This is my first second time checking out this uh, website that's published this uh, news article. And it says, uh, Turkey escalate airstrikes following the U.S. down, down and up drone. It says, uh, Turkey intensify airstrikes on America's Kurdish allies in Syria after the U.S. shut down, after the U.S. shot down a Turkish drone. Also, it's the United States that shot down the Turkish drone. Oh, okay, so I wanted to re rephrase that. To you know, make a correction to that, but saying on it says the U.S. down a Turkish drone strike in the region, a rare instance of two NATO allies among into the conflict, and which led to the war of the weekend. It says the Turkish air raids targeted militants in the northern Syria, adding to tensions between Ankara and Washington, which is Ankara is part of Turkey, and Washington is part of the United States. It says they have been at odds over American support for armed groups that Turkey sees as you know what. It says uh, Turkey said it. Turkey said its war plans struck oil wells, warehouses, and headquarters operating in a Kurdish YPG fighters. It says the attack late Thursday took place after the U.S. He says after the. Uh, so I'm gonna read that again. It says Circus said its war plane struck the oil wells warehouse and headquarters operated by the Kurdish fighters, fighters, which is backed by the Kurdish, which is uh, allies of the Kurdish armies. It says the uh, the attack late Thursday took place after the U.S. Defense Department. I believe they had a press conference about that as well too said an uh, American F-16 jet shot down a Turkish drone that flew within half a kilometer of the U.S. forces in Syria. And it says the unnamed aircraft was operated by the Turkish National Intelligence Agency, which was conducting cross-border operations and retaliation for the suicide bomber in the Turkish capital on Sunday. The attack was injured to security officers was claimed by Kurdistan military by the and organized from Syria, according to the Turkish intelligence. The Turkish foreign minister acknowledged that the army drones belonging to the Turkish in a written statement on Friday said the drone was also over differences of technical assessments with third parties. And it says the U.S. Defense uh, Department's spokesperson, Richard General Pat Ryder said there were no sign of drone planning to strike American troops. Nevertheless, Turkey operations had slowed the French tension toward Washington with support Kurdish forces, who it says has played a major role in the U.S. led effort to defeat the Islamic State. We're not going to read all the rest of that. Salakia. This is as an upload.
This is the book of Mark, chapter 13, verse 7. It says, And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. Right, that's what's taking place over there in uh, Syria. Even though we are so used to seeing uh, back and forth escalation between the nations, different nations uh, rising up against one another, different armies of nations and organizations factors throughout the region over in Syria, throughout Iraq and throughout Syria as well, too. As we've been seeing, the tense has been escalating for the past couple of days or so. So it's potentially going to increase more and more. This is the book of Mark, chapter 13, verse 7. It says, uh, And when you share here of wars and rumors of wars, see that you be not troubled for all these things, must ye be, but the hand shall not be yet. And this is the book of Mark, chapter 13, verse 8. And it reads to the Holy Scriptures, But nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be uh, earthquakes in diverse places, and there shall be famines and trouble as these are the beginning of souls. Right, just like it says in uh, our cross reference scriptures to uh, Matthew 24, verse 8, uh, these are the uh, beginning of souls. So it's just an increase in the beginning of souls of uh, escalations and tensions between the different nations or armies uh, rising up against one another. You know, so a nation rising up against another nation of armies, and that's what we're seeing in modern day times. So with that, hopefully this uh, sit down lesson was uh, edifying. Of uh, that recent uh, drone was shot down by the United States. I believe it was a uh, Turkish drone was shot down by the United States, and the United States have a press conference on that. Uh, meanwhile, and meanwhile, you have uh, Turkey been uh, using airstrikes over there in that area as they have an uh, ongoing uh, escalation tensions between uh, the Kurdish army versus the Turkish army. was increasing over there in the wild Iraq and the wild Syria as well, too. So with that, because I believe they said uh, in, Cara, in Cara of Turkey and Washington, tensions have been increasing as, as well, too, as of late, as I read the news article. So with that, once again, hopefully this uh, sit-down lesson was uh, edifying. I would like to give all praises and glory and honor to to God. I will buy Hashem. I have a shab, I have a shab, I have a shab, I to the uh, elders for preaching words truth be and sincere. And shalom to the uh, Akiyam, Skat, the four points of the world, preaching words truth be and sincere as well, too. And until next time, I will say shalom.